It's time for the countdown to kickoff with head coach Chuck Long. All right, here we go with a new feature, countdown to kickoff. It'll be every Friday, not necessarily with me, which is not that important, I, but I with you I hope it every, is. every Friday to kind of go over things and get a sense of, of really what happens on a Friday night as we get ready for the opener, you more than me again. But explain, Coach, what goes on on a Friday night for you, mm -hmm. your staff, and your team. First, I'm excited about this show. And I'm glad you're hosting it. I hope we get you every week, Steve. I'd actually like to do this thing. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Friday night. Friday night is that night where we try to stay relaxed. Uh, we actually, um, after we practice here on Friday afternoon, we jump on the bus and, and go on over to the hotel. I like to get all of our guys in the same hotel, the travel squad. Gets them out of the dorms. And we have a number of players that live off campus. So we all want to get together in a team atmosphere. We go over and have chapel. Uh, and then we have, um, after that, we have a team meal. And, and, and the chapel is not mandatory. It's up to them whether they want to come or not. But the team meal is mandatory. And um, we have a nice dinner. And then from there, they will actually go and watch a movie in, in their room. And just to relax and watch a movie and, and, and have fun with that. And then, uh, and then we get them down after the movie say around 9.30ish uh, to, to have a team meeting because I want, after they watch their movie, I want them to get their, their minds back on football. And then we'll have a little snack for them and then they go to bed. That's basically a Friday night. And, and let's talk a little bit about something that, that I've noticed that seems to be a great asset as you head into the opener, the leadership that you have with your captains. Um, obviously critically important, the leadership that your staff brings, number right. one, but then what, what, what they bring. And, and talk a little bit about that. The more captains and leaders you can have, the better. And all of them got significant votes from their peers, so we felt the six captains that we have uh, earned it. And obviously uh, their teammates have looked up to them. And the more you can get, the better. And we have, you know, starting with uh, Tyler Campbell and Russell Allen, uh, those are the guys that, that have been around a while here, and, and they've really... Uh, led in a great way but the rest of them have brought something different to the table and in terms of uh how they started and where they are now uh, uh, you know darren muji as siasi fafita have switched positions along the way made sacrifice to be a team player mike schmidt has been a uh, a walk-on he came in here as a walk-on and and then earned it the hard way because that's a hard road and not only are in a starting position, but now he's a captain. So you know, it says a lot to all the other walk-ons in the room. It can be done. But each has a great story, and, and uh, you know, we're excited to have all of them uh, as captains. And, and again, they've, they've earned it. Uh, you know, we're excited for what they bring to the table, and they've done it all off-season. You know, we're trying to teach more accountability with our team, and we're, what I do is teach the leaders how to teach the team. And, and so I don't, ha you know, I go to them and then they go to the, their teammates. And that's, that's the best part, and they've done it in a great way this offseason. Let's talk injuries for a minute. And what is the update there heading into Well, we ha you know, we're going to be missing Mike Matamua. Uh, he's out for the season, our, our left tackle. Uh, he was actually fighting for that left tackle position. Great future. He's still a young player, in our, and he'll be around uh, three more years after this. So, uh, that, you know, that was a tough loss because Mike was – going to be a significant part of our, our you know our offense at least getting some playing time this year uh, although Peter Nelson's doing a nice job as a left tackle right now um, the uh, the other one's Neil Spencer who's out for the season Neil Spencer played every in every game as a true freshman last year but he has a redshirt year coming so we're actually going to redshirt him through this injury and get him back and so he won't lose any time there and, um, but aside from those two major injuries, uh, Logan Ketchum's another one that's out for a while, but he'll, he'll come back. He hasn't really played yet. But as far as guys that have, that have um, uh, you know, actually playing in games, Siasi Fafita will be out this game. He'll be back next week. And all the rest of them, we're starting to get back. Uh, there's a few minor uh, situations that we have to look at. Martrell Fantroy being one of them. He might be a game time situation. He's had a groin pull that's that's been aggravating. And then, um, uh, and but that's about it as far as uh, Neil um, uh, Ernie Lawson, one of our defensive tackles, has been nursing an ankle injury, but we think he'll play. 
Let's talk a little bit about your offense heading in, and obviously you were a quarterback, coached the quarterbacks, and now you've right. got a, a basically a rookie at quarterback with Ryan Lindley. Um, talk about what you do to get him ready and the offense ready. Well, Ryan is, is, has brought more maturity to that position than any freshman I've seen, um, and we think that's going to carry him a long way. At the same time, he is a, a young player. He hasn't taken a snap yet. We need to find out what he can do in a, in a game. Um, you just never know about quarterbacks until they get in that situation. We think he'll fare very well. You know, we, we think Ryan's future is, is very bright. Uh, we're excited to grow with him over, over the years he's going to be here. Uh, but you still have to earn it in those ball games. That's where quarterbacks really earn it. And we have a very capable quarterback behind him in, in Drew Wessling. As far as Ryan's concerned, obviously the first thing, you don't want to put everything on his plate. You know, uh, guys around him, starting with our receiving core, who has probably the most experience on our offense, they need to help him out. They need to catch his footballs, you know, <laughs> uh, run the right routes, those things, and, and make plays. And our running backs have to come to the surface. They have to, you know, when we give them the ball, they have to do something with it. And anytime. So you want him to be a role guy. You don't want to be the guy. Well, no, not yet. I, th I think that will, that will grow in time. We just want to make sure we, all the, we, we stay balanced enough. Uh, again, it's, I think it's a big game for our running backs. Our running backs, we still don't know who the guy is going to be. We'll find out in, in games, but uh, those guys are going to have to, we'll have to give them the ball, take some pressure off Ryan and and again, we don't want Ryan to feel, even though he's very mature and very capable, we still want to be able to balance that out. And then talk about your defense. Russell Allen, nicest guy in the world, uh, you know, when it's not game day and then an absolute lunatic when it is. Right. Uh, the, the leader that you have there and a defense that has a year under its belt and, and obviously looking for it to be much improved and, and really a strength. Well, I, you, have, you have a great captain there in Russell. He's been a three-year starter. Uh, he's done everything right. He's actually switched positions himself. Uh, he, he's, a, he's a young man, we can put at all three different linebacking positions. And when we go our th 30 front, we can, he, he has a fourth uh, linebacker element. He just, he's great in space. He, he does all the right things for his, for his mind and his body, and, and he studies the game intently. He's everything you want in, in a football player. And not only we think he's going to have a big year, I, I think he's, he's an all-American type. I really do. Um, and obviously when you win, those things happen and, and you we want to win and, and obviously ha let that happen for him but a uh, very valuable member um, as I said captain uh, Corey Boudreau is, a, is another captain uh, uh, getting that six year and and we think he's going to have a big year but we see those two guys uh, being very instrumental in our success this year. And coach, final question, just uh, 30 seconds to a minute on keys to the game on Saturday. Keys to the game, uh, for our defense, uh, we need to stop their triple option. Uh, they, they do a nice job with their triple option. Uh, we'd like to hit the quarterback and make him, you know, when he's trying to pitch the football on that option, get it on the ground. Uh, for our offense, it's handling their blitz. You know. We anticipate with a young quarterback that most D coordinators want to bring bring a little bit more blitz than usual. They, they've shown a lot already, and we, we feel like we're prepared there, but uh, we anticipate a little bit more on that angle. And then special teams. Special teams, uh, especially in our return units, our kickoff return and punt return, will be big in this game. All right, Coach, best of luck. We're fired up. It's Friday. Hey, it's, it's countdown. It's countdown. Good luck tomorrow. And it's been countdown for a while. We're excited. All right, very good.